Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go ahead and look at uh, how we can use uh, use our functions to return a Boolean value. If you remember, a Boolean value can only be true or false. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of rewrite our code from the last video, but this time we're going to use a function that returns a Boolean value. Um, and the first thing I wanted to do is uh, take this database name and database password. Uh, if you remember these two uh, and we can erase where we call that function too. If you remember these two variables, we were just kind of pretending that these were values that we got from a database. Uh, we'll learn how to do that later, but for now, just kind of think of these two uh, variables here as things that were given to our script. It, it's not something that we physically typed in as our example looks here. Um, and also this name and password variable were uh, were variables that were also given to us, but but by the user input, um, maybe in a in a form on a uh, on a web, on a web page. Uh, so again, these aren't in real world applications. These wouldn't be variables where we just typed them in. Um, I hope that uh, kind of clears that up. So, um, and this time I I pulled these two variables: database name and database pass. I took those outside of the function and we're also going to learn how to access those variables from inside our function because if you remember everything inside a function, uh, a function only has access to variables that are inside of it and any variables we pass to it when we call it through the parameters. Um, so let's go ahead and change the name of this function to, actually first let's erase all of this. And instead of having a function login, we're going to have a function named uh, is correct uh, login. Okay, um, and we're going to give it the same parameters. We're going to give it a username and a password. So uh, when we call it, we're going to say uh, we're going to say is correct login, and we're going to give it our name and our password which is the two variables just above where we called it here. Uh, sorry if that went under screen. I, I uh, just typed this line here. Is correct login. We're calling the function and we're giving it the parameters name, which is on line five, and password, which is on line six here, as parameters. And it'll take those parameters and pass it down to our function here. Um, this time we're going to go ahead and say if, if, Actually, before we do that, I wanted to show you how we access these two variables, database name and database pass. Um, if you notice, these are outside of our function, and so if we type uh, database name, uh, if we do anything with this variable, PHP is not going to know what we're talking about. They're going to, they're going to, uh, PHP is going to think that we're trying to either init initialize a new variable or uh, or we're just accessing something that's null that has nothing inside it. So um, to do to access variables outside the function, we use the keyword global. Uh, global, and then we type the name of the uh, the name of the variable, and then do that again for the other variable. And f after this line 19 here, we're going to have access to both of these because we told PHP we're referring to variables outside of this function that that are not local; they're global. So let's go ahead and, and say if um, username is equal to db name, um, let's do something here. Else, we're going to return false. And if the username does equal the, whatever name we have in our database, uh, we're going to have another if statement. If password equals db pass we're going to do something else return false and if the password does equal the database password uh, we're going to return true because those two cases the username and the password are true um, and there is a better much better way to write this but but let's just kind of stick with this right now this will work just fine for us and from there, what we can do is when we call, and remember when we call this function, it's going to return a Boolean because we return true and we return false, uh, and those are Boolean values. And so what we do is if, and put all this, uh, 
the entire function here with the parameters inside of an if uh, an if parameter. So this uh, highlighted area is all inside of our uh, if if statement here, uh, our condition for our if statement. And if this is true, let's uh, let's echo welcome back. Um, oops, welcome back name else echo wrong credentials. Okay, so let's uh, save this and kind of see what's going on. Okay, it says wrong credentials. Um, because we put George Wyatt as our name and 125 as our password, but our uh, but our uh, variable server is Michael Jones 12345. So so let's uh, let's put that instead here. And a, again, these two variables would be would be variables which were inputted by a user on a form. So let's say he inputted the correct variables, which were Michael Jones. One, two, three, four, five. Save that. And it still says wrong credentials here. Let's see. Password. I don't think this should make a difference, but let's move this up here. Okay, welcome back, Michael Jones. Um, I guess the uh, I had my variables underneath where I called the function from, and that that was kind of messing us up. Um, so welcome back, Michael Jones, because because this function here returned true uh, is correct. Login. Uh, we took the variables from outside the function with the global keyword, and then we compared everything. Um, and if username was equal to database name, if password is equal to database password, we returned true, and so. If we go back up to where we called this function, we could have just replaced this entire highlighted area with the keyword true after that point, and it would mean the exact same thing uh, because it returned true, otherwise it returned false. And uh, just one last thing, another, uh, I mentioned earlier there would be a much better way to write this, um, so let's let's see that now. Um, what we could have done is actually taken all of this out here and we could use a double ampersand as uh, you can kind of think of that as an and uh, it's called an and conditional operator and all that means is whatever's on either side of this ampersand has to be true for this if statement to happen so if uh, password equals uh, db pass and in plain English this is saying if username is equal to the database username and the password is equal to the database password then return true. And so if the username was right but the password was wrong, this, this will be skipped over because both conditions need to be true with an AND conditional operator for this entire statement to be true, uh, or condition I should say, to be true. And, uh, and so that's what the double, double ampersand uh, sign is for and that's how that can be useful because as you can see we really cleaned that code up and it, now we can just, uh, now in four lines of code we just kind of uh, uh, did the same thing pretty much. And you also might have noticed I left out the, uh, the uh, curly braces here with the else statement and that's also okay as long as we only have one statement after the else we could leave the curly braces out. It's kind of just a shorthand. Um, and we could have left it out for the if statement also, but I usually don't do that just because if I want to go back later and add another statement, um, maybe uh, now I, you know just something else, just my name equals Bob. Maybe if I want to do this for some reason and then return it, then I would have to use the uh, the curly braces because it was it was more than one statement after. Uh, after our if statement, but it, but in this case it's only one, so we can uh, we can leave these out if we wanted to, and that's totally fine. So four lines of code just kind of is all we need for that. And again, the global keyword is going to give us access to variables uh, outside our function. Without the global keyword, 
PHP would have no idea what we're talking about when we said uh, DB name, DB pass. So uh, I hope that clears it up a little bit. Thanks for watching. See you next time.